school kids clamor to touch the silver conical shaped spacecraft parked on the National Mall in downtown Washington this week. Even adults seem surprised at the sight of a space vehicle in a landscape usually dominated by limestone monuments. I didn't know what it was actually. We just were from Canada and we we're just down here walking, seeing all the buildings around and saw this and we said, hey, this looks like a interesting point of view. There's a pressure shell inside. Don Pearson was here to answer questions from tourists and school children about the more than 8,000 kilogram capsule. The National Aeronautical and Space Administration project manager says the Orion will put astronauts back on the surface of the moon by 2020, 50 years after the first mission. It's a full-scale model. It'll have six astronauts on board. It'll be our next way to send humans into space as we, uh, after the space shuttle program retires next year. NASA decided to showcase the Orion Crew exploration vehicle mock-up on its way down to the Kennedy Space Center on the coast of Florida where it will be tested in the ocean. B. Yeah! Tao and Mike Jones were on a school field trip with their classmates from St. Paul, Minnesota when they stumbled across the capsule. It's really interesting. I, it's really surprising that it's that we have a new invention going up to the moon. It's just amazing to see like the size comparison to like see imagine how big the rocket would be and um, how small it would be to live in there coming down. Whether posing for pictures or touching it for good luck, Orion held a captive and curious audience. Don Pearson says he hopes that by showcasing the Orion and talking about the lunar mission, a new generation of children will become interested in science and math. You know, the first time we launched the space shuttle, people were pretty excited about it. It's take, taking an airplane, turning it on its side and launching it. And people looked at that and said, wow, that's cool. Well, we're hoping the same kind of thing will happen here. Pearson says the ultimate goal of another manned mission to the moon is eventually to put astronauts on Mars. That would be a three-year, round-trip journey that Pearson hopes some of the school kids he met Monday will someday help command. Julia Ritchie, VOA News, Washington.